Good evening. The story you are going to hear tonight is called The Enchanted Forest. So snuggle up under your blankets and settle in for a wonderful night of sleep. When you're all ready, close your eyes. It was a particularly glorious midsummer's evening. The night Clara walked into the forest. She had been busy and hadn't made time for a walk since the first hopeful green shoots of spring had sprouted from the earth. But something about the soft air that night, the light breeze that carried with it the sweet perfume of honeysuckle and dew, had coaxed her out of her garden and into the trees beyond. The lush grass of her garden gave way to soft earth and springy moss the colour of emeralds as the trees thickened all around her. A chorus of birds twittered cheerfully at her as song of welcome. She laughed as playful chipmunks scampered across low branches, sending showers of pine needles to the forest floor. With every breath of alpine air, so fresh it was almost minty, she felt as though the rest of her day was melting off her shoulders. After walking for a few minutes, she came to a holly tree whose thick, sprawling roots reached out to her like a friendly hand in greeting. The holly was shorter than the soaring pines that surrounded it, but its wingspan was much broader. Its spindly branches, adorned with thousands of shiny, pointed leaves, fanned out overhead like ornate lace. She recognised it as her favourite climbing tree from when she was a girl, when she knew this forest like the back of her hand. She reached out and grasped the nearest branch. The bark was as smooth as satin under her fingertips, and she pulled herself up with ease, nestling comfortably into a crook in the tree-split trunk. From her new vantage point, she gazed out across the forest with peaceful wonderment. It seemed to glow in the low-lying light, green and golden. The sun had slipped below the tree line and was filtering softly through the branches. One of its rays found her face and she tilted her chin up towards the warmth and a gentle breeze tickled her nose. Somewhere nearby, a turtle dove was hooting softly into the waning daylight, ready for nightfall. She continued to rest in the tree for a little while, letting the peace of the forest wash over her, and watching as curls of purple light began to wind and twist themselves around the outer edges of the trees as the sun sank lower and lower. It was a magical thing, the way the light played over the forest and danced across the ground, and she wondered why it had been so long since she had last taken this time for herself. She used to spend so much time out here in the forest, talking to the birds and the squirrels, sometimes getting lulled into a peaceful sleep by the chorusing of the crickets. Even now, resting in the crook of the holly trunk, listening to the sounds of the forest, her eyes were beginning to feel a little heavy. But then, something sparkling caught her attention. She blinked and looked around, but whatever it was had already dashed out of sight. She wondered if it had been the first firefly of the evening. 
She smiled at the memory of hot, sticky summer nights spent barefoot chasing fireflies through the trees. The bark of the holly had cooled beneath her skin and she decided it was time to keep walking. She stepped carefully down from her low perch in the tree. Twigs snapped underfoot as she picked her way through the brambles around the holly's smooth trunk, back onto the soft moss that carpeted the forest floor. As she walked, she came to a small pool of crystal clear water, fed by a trickling stream. She paused at the water's edge, where damp earth met pebbly shore and peered into the surface. Smiling up at her was her own reflection, and she gave herself a small wave. She also saw a school of minnows nuzzling each other and nibbling on turquoise algae clustered by the water's edge. The water rippled and glimmered ever so softly, enticingly. She slipped off her shoes and rolled up her socks then cautiously dipped her toes in the water. It was surprisingly warm. She let her feet sink to the silty bottom of the pool. The water lapped up to the frayed hem of her jeans. She leaned back her head and closed her eyes, taking a moment to simply listen. The stream trickled gently over small, smooth stones. Above her, a light breeze rustled through the branches. She took a deep breath in and a long, peaceful breath out. And then she opened her eyes. She was gazing upstream now. The brook weaved its way in and out of the trees from somewhere beyond. Even as the sun was sinking out of the sky, that place beyond seemed to glimmer with the promise of light. Clara was intrigued, and she began to wade up the brook toward that ethereal shine. It danced behind a copse of shrubby trees making them shimmer, a haze of gold and green. As she walked, the smell of honeysuckle enveloped her once more. And then, a glowing, golden-winged butterfly flew gently past her ear and onward, disappearing into the shimmering light ahead. Its stunning beauty took her breath away Dusk was falling in earnest now, the last few rays of sun blinking into darkness. She began to wonder about making her way back home. Nevertheless, the mysterious light continued to dance through the trees ahead, and she felt a pull to follow the butterfly into it. She took the last few steps toward the light, then pulled back a branch like she was pulling back a curtain. She gazed up in awe. The clearing was full of dazzling white and pink and orange blossoms, and the air was as sweet as sugar. Above, hundreds Maybe thousands of golden-winged butterflies fluttered gently, the light that was within them shining out, illuminating the flowers and trees. One of the butterflies landed softly on her nose, and a warmth spread through her, down into her belly. She laughed and danced as more and more of the golden butterflies floated down and landed on her outstretched arms. Their touch filled her with that gentle, radiating warmth and their wings cast glowing, 
golden shadows across her skin. It all felt somehow familiar, like a long forgotten dream. One by one, the butterflies alighted from her skin, forming a shimmering line that stretched out of the clearing. The butterfly on her nose flew to rest on her shoulder. Its golden wings softly tickled her cheek. The line of butterflies fluttered expectantly and she realized that they were lighting a path for her that she was meant to follow. Clara stepped out of the stream and crossed the clearing. She passed through the shrubby trees, the brook to her right, the line of butterflies to her left. She could still hardly believe what she was seeing. The forest had never looked as beautiful as it did that night. Beneath the lantern-like glow of butterflies, the emerald green moss that covered the ground looked like it was woven from golden thread. The creek beside her sparkled like diamonds. The knobbly roots of the trees seemed to recede as she walked by, clearing the way for her. She heard the gentle, soft hooting of the turtle dove louder this time, and she looked up into the darkened branches, searching. A shimmering golden dove swooped down from the trees. He glowed even more brightly than the butterflies and left a shower of glitter in his wake as he flew ahead of Clara, lighting up the distant trees. The dove settled serenely into a cosy perch, high up in the branches of an evergreen, and Clara gazed up at him, awash in wonder at the sight. As they continued to make their way through the woods, the soft babbling of the brook beside her grew louder, building to a frothy rush of water. Ahead, the looming darkness seemed to thin, pierced through by silvery rays of moonlight as the clumps of trees broke apart. Clara thought they must be coming to another clearing, but when they reached that place of light, where the forest opened up, Clara thought they must be somewhere else entirely. Surely this place couldn't exist in the forest by her house, the one she had grown up exploring. They couldn't be anywhere near her town, or any town for that matter. They were in a place entirely apart. A place of magic. A place of dreams. The forest had opened up into something like paradise. As far as she could see were shimmering pools of golden light connected by sparkling waterfalls that fed into a lake made of gold at the base of the slope. Looking down at her feet, she could tell the moss truly was woven from golden thread. Clara stared, open-mouthed, trying to take it all in, as the butterfly soared ahead and filled the sky, twinkling like stars. She followed them, walking slowly and carefully down the slope to the edge of the lake. It looked like liquid sunshine. She heard the dove singing. He had come back to them and was flying over the lake, glitter raining down from his wings and dropping into the water. Two towering oak trees stood on the opposite bank and he landed on one of the branches. He hooted again, an invitation. She began to walk along the lake's edge toward the two trees. As she drew near, the oak's thick branches and swinging vines began to take shape in the garden's glow. The dove twittered and leapt from one tree's branch to the other. 
She wasn't sure how she knew, but she felt that he wanted to show her something. And then she saw it. Carved into the base of the trunk of the largest oak were the initials C. C. They were Clara's initials, scribbled into the bark in a childish hand. She knelt down in the soft moss at the base of the tree and ran her fingers across the letters. It was warm to the touch. She looked around at the golden lake, at the running waterfalls, at the dove who was hooting happily at her, and at the butterflies who were fluttering around her like a shimmering protective cloud. Her heart felt like it was overflowing as she began to remember her old friends. Somehow she had forgotten their magic, but they had been here for her all along. The vine swung gently in a light breeze, and she suddenly remembered being small, yelling with laughter as she swung from them, splashing into the golden water. The butterflies had shown all of this to her. They had shown her the magic of the forest. The butterflies were converging in the space between the two trees, circling each other, flying closer and closer together. She watched them with curiosity as they wound themselves together, taking the shape of a glowing hammock that stretched from one trunk to the other, floating feet off the ground and swinging gently. The dove flew down from the branch and nestled onto the butterflies. He watched her with his warm, golden eyes, and again she felt that he was extending her an invitation. She gingerly placed her hand on the golden hammock, sending a ripple through it like a sheet. Carefully she sat, and she could feel the butterflies holding her, lifting her, sending warmth through her entire body. She laid down, sinking into their support, and gazing up at the flecks of moonlight that poured through the branches above. Pieces of vibrant memories of the butterflies leading her through the forest were coming back to her, and she allowed herself to close her eyes and let them soak in. The breeze was gently rustling the leaves overhead as the crickets softly chirped. The butterflies gently rocked her from side to side. She yawned deeply. It was so peaceful out here. Clara was so comfortable, she lost track of time. She turned onto her side and fluttered her eyes open, only to find that she was at home, in her fuzziest pyjamas, the covers tucked up all the way to her chin. The moon was high and full, perfectly framed in her window, trails of silver light reaching across the room. The light reflected off a gold frame she had never seen before, hanging beside her window. She squinted blearily at it, and suddenly realised it was a drawing of a young girl, eyes alight with laughter, dancing with butterflies under a large oak tree. A smile spread across her face and she burrowed even deeper under her covers. The butterflies would always be with her, she was sure. Clara was still smiling as she drifted off into a deep and peaceful sleep, her dreams leading her back into the forest. On this note, our story ends.
Good night and sweet dreams. <laughs>